Bharatanatyam is um, one of the really old and classical dance forms in the Indian subcontinent. It's, it's got such a strong cultural backing um, and so much of science into it. Science concepts that are very much relatable to our everyday living, which makes the art form more easily acceptable, more relatable, and people can actually learn and get value out of it. Hi, I'm, uh, my name is Deepa Mani and I'm the artistic director of uh, Chandralia, an Indian classical and modern contemporary dance school here in Melbourne. In short, Bharatanatyam stands for Ba, meaning Bhavam, which is expressions, Ra, meaning Ragam, which is music, Ta, meaning Talam, which is beats or rhythm, and Natya or Natyam, meaning dance. Um, it's one of the eight um, main classical art forms in India and it's practiced in southern India and it's originated in southern India from the temples. Um, we're talking um, really 15th, 16th century old art form. So what's really special about Bharatanatyam is it has such a um, rich culture embedded and it also um, very closely related to yoga and so the movements and everything is so good for your um, both mind and body and it really fine tunes one and you get a lot of um, mind exercises, physical and mental exercises which really helps in um, both physical and mental well-being for a person and in a, in a situation like this today where we have um, a situation to deal with pandemic I'm very thankful that it has really helped me to keep my mental well-being um, you know, in check. In terms of where it stands with other art forms, I think it's Bharatanatyam is has transcended over times. You know, Bharatanatyam, what it was during, um, you know, during the king's days, during the temple days, um, is very much different to what it is um, now, and will constantly evolve, and it probably will be very much different hundred years from now. It's also an art, an art form that's very much um, weaves. Uh, into other art forms. For example, there are a few projects that um, we did um, in the past year where Bharatanatyam could be, uh, could really shake hands with tap, um, with uh, ballet, with hip hop. That's what makes the art form very special. Obviously, the, the, the um, you know, the, uh, the embellishments that go with it, the beautiful, vibrant costumes, the jewelries, they all make, uh, make it so appealing to the eye, the eye of the beholder. And at the very end of it, they get their, their hearts are filled with joy because they've got such a beautiful experience watching this art form on stage or in person. People ask me, is Bharatanatyam contemporary? Absolutely, I think yes, very much so. Um, it is yes, it is very structured. It's very linear, but it is also flowy. It's you know, and depending on what they do. Um, it can be contemporary because in Bharatanatyam we tell stories about um, the gods and the goddesses and the kings and beautiful stories but Bharatanatyam can be used today to talk about everyday issues, uh, everyday issues that we, socio-economic issues that we face, diversity issues, uh, mental uh, related issues. There's so many issues about depression and anxiety that we could actually um, talk about through Bharatanatyam which I think makes so much of sense. Um, and as an artist, I feel very welcome to be able to be part of that journey with other people who are doing the research um, and be able to contribute to that experience. So I think that's very nice.